Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about dark matter and dark energy in a nutshell. This is mostly for those of you who are new to the, all of the space thing and you don't really understand why we actually think there is something called dark energy and dark matter. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button right now because there's so many more videos coming in the future. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> And so to start, let's actually briefly talk about dark matter and specifically the fact that we actually know nothing about it. Well, okay, we do know some things, but they're not very certain and they're very speculative. We're going to escape our uh, solar system and go to the outer edges of our galaxy because this is where you have to look in order for you to understand what exactly dark matter is or at least why we think there is such a thing as dark matter because that's really what I'm trying to explain in this video. So this is our beautiful galaxy Milky Way. In Space Engine, where we are right now, it doesn't actually move even if I accelerate time here. Unfortunately, this is not a feature just yet, but maybe one day, one day. But here is actually another picture or another video from um, Universe Sandbox Square or Universe Sandbox 2, where you do see the spinning galaxy. Now, the reason I actually am showing you this is because this is essentially um, how we've discovered that there's got to be something going on. There's got to be something that we refer to as the dark matter. Um, if you look at what's known as the galaxy rotation curve, in other words, the speed of rotation of different objects uh, at different sort of locations in our galaxy, you'll realize that objects right here should be moving really fast. Objects a little bit farther away should be moving a little bit slower, an object on the outskirts should be moving really slow, similar to how basically um, how things in our own solar system move. So like Mercury moves super fast, that's why it's no Mercury, it's the, it's the messenger god, it's really, really fast. And then things like Jupiter and Saturn move slower, and then as you go farther and farther away from the sun, things kind of slow down and move really, really, really slow. Uh, I think this object right here has a speed of about uh, two or three kilometers per second, as opposed to Mercury that has something like 50 or even 60. I don't actually remember the number. But um, in reality, this only works in solar systems. The galaxy rotation curve is very different. Here's actually a picture of what it looks like. The observed speed is surprisingly high. So the objects here move fast, but so do the objects here, so do the objects here, and also here. They move a lot faster than they should. And this is where dark matter comes in. Now, we don't really know if this is really what's happening, but according to modern science, Dark matter essentially is responsible for holding galaxies together even though things move so fast on the outskirts. Now here is once again Universe Sandbox 2 and you can kind of see that, you know, with dark matter galaxies spin normally, but if you let, um, if you get rid of the dark matter, if you let dark matter go, everything just kind of falls apart and flies away and basically disappears. And that's essentially where our understanding and knowledge of dark matter stops because after years and years of experimentation and trying to discover these dark matter particles or discover anything really about them, we've only observed effects of dark matter. We have no idea what it really is. Absolutely no idea. And that's dark matter in a nutshell. Let's go to the next candidate, the dark energy. Now, there's something like 73 or 74% of the entire material in the universe that is supposed to be dark energy. What exactly is it? Well, once again, we don't know, but we do see the effect and I'm going to show it to you by zooming out of our galaxy because that's where we have to go. If you start moving away from our galaxy, you'll realize that these other galaxies are actually moving away from us. Well, okay, not all of them, but for the most part, on average, they're moving away from us. If you move a little bit further away, you realize that they're actually moving a little bit faster away. If you move even further, you'll realize that um, it's even faster and faster and faster. Uh, so this is something that um, Dr. Hubble discovered a long time ago. Or was he actually a doctor? I don't actually know. I know his name is Edwin Hubble, but he discovered this so-called Hubble constant that's named after him uh, and realized that, you know, things, uh, as you move away from our, um, our system, our galaxy, things move faster and faster away. So, like, here, things will move faster away from us than they would here. And that's not it. It just so happens that things are also accelerating faster. So 
if you move away from our galaxy, which you still kind of see somewhere in there, um, actually, you might not even be able to see it anymore because we're really far away from it right now. Um, so, as you move away from there, things are accelerating as well. Not only do they move at a, at a you know fast speed, but they're accelerating constantly. And the farther away you go from our galaxy, the more acceleration there is. So, for example, this bright galaxy right here might be moving away from us at, 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 I don't know, let's just say an arbitrary speed of 100 kilometers per second. But it's also accelerating. And so with every single year, every, every few thousand years, it might get extra kilometer per second. Then if I move away even further, this right here might be moving away uh, from us at 200 kilometers per second, but it's also going to accelerate more. So maybe in, in, in a few thousand years, it's going to be 300 kilometers per second. And the further you go, the more acceleration there is. In other words, some of these objects will soon move so fast that they'll move at a relative speed faster than the speed of light, meaning that we'll never be able to see them. So there's actually a line that we're about to reach that's going to be known, or I guess that is known as the end of the visible universe. And the objects here are about to reach the relative speed of light to us. And so they'll be moving at really fast velocities. Um, but that's really not the topic of this video. The, the main idea here is very simple. This unusual acceleration is possibly caused by something we refer to as dark energy. And this is actually something that, this is a really cool galaxy, let's look at it. Um, it's something that is once again unexplained. So like this galaxy is super far away from us. It is really far away and it's moving away from us at a very, very fast speed, but it's also accelerating away from us. It's, it's a relative velocity away from us increases um, with every passing second. And this acceleration we think is caused by this unknown term dark energy. Now, we don't know if it's particles, if it's some kind of a force, if it's uh, magic, probably not magic. But what we do know is that we have certain theories, we have certain ideas. And for at least dark matter, there is quite a lot of explanations, but one of them is actually a little bit more unusual. Uh, it basically says that maybe we just don't understand gravity at, you know, really large distances. Maybe gravity, when you move far away from everything, like for example, right here, where, where this is the edge of the visible universe where things are moving almost at the speed of light. And in a few years, few thousands of years, the, this galaxy is going to move faster than the speed of light and it will actually disappear. It will not be visible anymore. Um, but it's still going to be there. It's still going to exist. It just, it's going to stretch away from us at faster than speed of light. Um, and this is obviously caused by this dark energy. And so the idea here is that maybe, just maybe, it's not a particle. Maybe, just maybe, it's just the fact that we don't understand how gravity works at really, really far distances. But that's just one of the explanations. There's actually quite a lot of different explanations about which we might talk about in the future. But this is essentially dark energy in a nutshell. So the only effect that we see of it is that the galaxies farther away from us accelerate faster. And we think that dark energy is causing this acceleration. All right, so that's all I wanted to say in this video. And hopefully this was clear enough for you to kind of get your head around the idea of dark energy and dark matter. You now basically know just as much as any scientist in the world because we don't really know much about them. We don't really know exactly what's going on. And we're not really sure when we'll find out because so far all of the experiments have been not very successful. Now we're currently 20 billion, uh, over 20 billion years away from our planet Earth. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom back to it in a few seconds. And here you go. So welcome back home and I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll subscribe to this channel because there's so many more videos coming in the future. If you actually enjoyed this and if you learned something from it, do share it with your friends who might want to know more about dark matter and dark energy and who might want to actually understand these two relatively simple but relatively complex and really unusual concepts. One day we might discover what, the, what it's all about or maybe we'll never, we never will because these are some really, really complex ideas. Anyway, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next video. Give you later, and as always, bye bye. And if Newton was wrong about the gravity, he is definitely going to be a very sad, dead person because his gravitational ideas have basically put us on the moon. But what if they're actually wrong? What if it's really all about the fact that we just don't know gravity? Not to the effect where it deals with really, really large distances.
Maybe you will be the one to discover it all. Please do, because I would love to find out what's going on. Alright, see you guys. Bye-bye.